Well, I can't be sh sure. I'm pretty sure it's an Indian. Backside is toast, but I can just barely see the top of the headdress there. Pretty sure that's an Indian. Doubt I'll ever get a date or anything off of it. If I clean that off anymore, I think it's just going to disintegrate. So, yeah. Pretty sure that's an Indian. Nice. Uh, another unknown relic. With some shape. Well, I haven't been filming too many of the signals because they haven't been solid, but that's a 2324 and it's full on non fair. So let's see, let's see if it's right. Well, unfortunately, it was right. Looks like cancel out of me. Recheck the hole, make sure that was it, but I'm pretty sure it was. Right on the edge of the pond. Let's see what it is. No indication whether it's ferrous or non ferrous, so. Let's see. It's a doohickey mole. No idea. Jumpy from 30, well, 30 to 38. Another flat button. It was, uh, I don't know, eight inches. Probably why it was a little jumpy. Not bad. Forty four. Thirty nine forty. Let's find out what it is. Big old chunk of lead. Yeah, that's what it was. So much for a live dig. Wild signal. Yeah, junk. All oh, that for that. No more light digs. <clears throat> Couple of targets.
Let's dig the 26 first. That was the high tone. Not sure what those are. Separate them out and maybe there's something on them. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. We'll investigate. If there's anything cool, I'll let you know. Seems a little big, but we'll dig it. Sort of running out of really good targets, so. More of that tin stuff. Well, if nothing else, I'll clean up some more of that tin stuff in the ground. So that and her and her family Lead. Pick the shit. Just to get it better get back to it. <laughs> That might be a good signal. It's probably a penny, but you know what? We gotta dig it. I'm gonna watch you dig it. I'm not ten cents. Pretty red one. Don't know what date it is. Nineteen eighty-seven. Solid twenty-one non-fares. All right, we'll dig it. Foil. Forty-five non-fares. Let's see if this one's too good to be true. Jump. Yeah, jeez. That was a good signal. Yeah. It's the way it goes. I don't know. Let's see what it is. It's a crackly one. Eric just gave a yell. Oh, you got a Hot Wheels. Geez, that's right where I dug that dime. That's funny. Oh, there it is. Nice. Go for a ride. You know, my wife told me the other day she wanted uh, something car? shiny that went to a zero to 180 in three seconds. About her scale. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, first that, then that. Whoops. Nothing special. I don't even know what it is. Oh well. Picked that out with that nail though. I think that was it. Yep. Another one. Let's see. Not sure what it is. However, I'd be willing to bet that that is part of a stem to a clay pipe. It's got a hole in it. That's the first one of those I found. I'm pretty sure that's what that is.
That's an interesting signal right there. That's why I don't live dig these. I don't know what it is. Got some color on it. Oh, looks like it's got the end will pop open here. Yeah, I just broke it. I don't know. I don't think it's old. I don't know what the heck it is. Colonial Pez Dispenser, that's what we'll call it. I think that's kind of the same signal as the last one, maybe? I don't know. Won't know till we dig it, will we? Well, here's to the couple of seconds you see the round part of that in the hole. And it had a green, greenish color to it. I got excited for a second, but... Don't know. Another relic. Not the, uh... Not the greatest signal in the world, but we're going to dig it. I'm guessing it's just a little snap of some sort. Grommet maybe, I don't know. Nothing great. Give that a stomp and we'll move on. Pretty solid 45, all non-ferrous. Let's give it a whirl. First piece to a buckle I found out here. Oh, let me get it in the camera. Nice. No ferro check, but I'm digging it. Tin or something junk. Twenty-eight, twenty-nine. I was getting a uh, indecisive on the ferro check, but let's see what it is. Well, it's not a coin, but it is. Something round and got fancy on it. Might have... Might have had a shank on the back, I'm not really sure. Huh. Different. Nice. Todd's the landowner, he'll be happy with that. I'm leaving all my stuff with, with him, because he... He really likes, well, it's his property, and he, he's got a house full of antiques and relics and stuff, so I think a lot of this will go nice for him, you know? All right, moving on. Pretty solid 3435. No ferro check. We're gonna dig it. Well, that was it. Another one of those signals. Now we'll dig it anyway. I always dig the consistent ones, and that one is. 
not a nail, toe tap. Big 35. Lantern part. Another sort of scratchy signal, but we're going to dig it. Yeah, I don't think it's old, but... Yeah, right in the flower bed. Let's go for it. Tarp grommet. Well, it's a scruddy signal, but we're going to dig it anyway. That is a button. Whoops. And it definitely has some stuff on the back. But I just can't make it out. I definitely like that one. However, it could be anything, so let's get it out. Well, this is interesting. I thought it was a coin, but it had a uh, chain hook to it, and it says Boy Scout on it. It has something on the back. I'm going to have to clean this one up. I might have to bring this one home and clean this one too, and Give it back to them later. That's really cool. All right. That's it. Some of this stuff I have no idea what it is. That was the last thing I dug, that Boy Scout pendant thing. It says Boy Scout on the back too. Yeah, I saw that. So, I got a few coins here and there, nothing special. Uh, one of those is an Indian, and then the uh, 1901 Barber Dime. It's not in the greatest of shape. This, we're pretty sure that is a piece to a clay pipe. Of course, the battery's not part of the finds. Then Eric over here. Three Reedies, Oop. two stinking Lincolns, modern quarter, the good luck charm. Pretty sure it's aluminum because it's wicked light. My new car needs a wash though. And then whatever else. This stuff is nice little buckle. That cool little thing, I don't know what it is. Yeah. I think we did pretty well. Not bad for somebody who's been here six or seven times, I think he said. He missed a lot. Right. <laughs> All right. That's it for us today. I'm wiped out. I gotta go find a store and get something something to eat. And uh I guess from me and Eric, we will catch you on the next one. Please. Take it easy. See you, bye.